Hey there, it's Jen, and I'm back with another process video. This is my first layout with the February 2015 It Takes Two kit from Scraptastic. I used a cut file from, they have give exclusive cut files with all of their kits now, and so I'm using that little kind of geometric heart cut file that I, um, I cut out of the light pink um, cardstock that came in the kit. And now I'm just going through some of the embellishments that came with the kit to try to decide what I might want to include. I'm using a photo of my daughter eating some cookies that we decorated on Valentine's Day. And I'm finding that this kit doesn't have a ton of embellishments. And that's okay, I made it work, but I don't think that I'll get very many layouts without adding some things from my stash to it. I didn't get the add-on kit, I just got the, the main kit, so that might be part of the reason why. So what I wanted to do with this die cut is, um, which I cut with my silhouette, is just fill some of the um, areas, the open holes, with patterns. And I'm just choosing out a few of the patterns that are kind of light and that will show up well behind that. So I'm, I'm making sure to choose the patterns that have a smaller, like a smaller scale pattern that will show up well. So I chose the Wood Grain XOXO, which is a Scraptastic exclusive paper designed by Caitlin Schaefer. And I'm, I'm going to, I just traced it backwards onto the back of the paper and then I'm uh, laying it onto the back of that cut file. And I'm not really caring too much if the XOXO is completely straight or some of them are twisted different ways. I don't care. It's it's not going to bother me. And then the other paper that I'm going to choose is this stripe diagonal stripe uh, paper from Maggie Holmes. Uh, oh no, it's not Maggie Holmes, but it's Crepe Paper Kiss Kiss, which is their Valentine's line. And I I got the Valentine's kit this time, and I don't often scrapbook Valentine's Day things, but I thought that lovey stuff and hearts and, and things always work for lots of different kinds of occasions, not just Valentine's Day, so I thought I would choose that one this time, because the other kit seems to have a lot of the same colors that I've been working with lately, and so I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, so now I'm just kind of lightly tacking down those pieces that I cut. And I'm trying to decide where I need to add some pieces. So I realized that I had cut a piece that's going to be hidden by my photo. And so I just kind of trimmed it a little bit differently and made it fit to where it was going to just stick out a little bit above the photo. And that works. And then I'm going to trace one more of the diagonal stripes and put that in as well. And actually, I think I'll do one more after this. So I could have included the black and white, but I really wanted it to kind of be light and airy inside that heart. And you'll see in a minute that I end up using the backs of both of those papers, which both have black and white, for borders on my layout. So now I've got that kind of filled in the way I want it. I don't want to fill all the spaces. And I'm trying to decide right now, I'm kind of holding it up to see if I want to put it on um, foam squares to pop it up, or I thought about stitching it down as well, but I'm going to end up popping it up. Before I do that, I'm taking the, the free gift for this month. If you order um, two kits in a row, you get a free gift. And in the past, we've had Prima Chalk inks. This month, they've given us an exclusive um, stencil. And so I just pulled out my modeling paste, and I'm going to stencil some of the hearts inside those um, spaces that I did not fill with patterned paper. And I'm not doing a very clean job of this. I am using a spatula that's a little bit too, or a palette knife that's a little bit too big. But I don't change the fact that I'm using it until later. And so you're just going to see the struggle. But I end up liking the way it turns out because it's really imperfect and it kind of looks like the frosting on the cookies. So it kind of works. And I, in the past I've um, colored the modeling paste with inks and different things and I could have done that again and that would have looked cute too. But I'm just using it plain white this time. It's just really more of a subtle effect. 
So it would have been easier maybe if I would have masked off the the hearts that I wasn't using with just a little bit of washi tape or something. But of course I'm doing it the hard way because I think it's easier because I'm, I have to do less work. But it really ends up being harder in the end. Whatever. I'm just going to struggle through it and that's all right. And here in a second you'll see when I do my last little bit that I'm going to get a smaller palette knife so that I can get into the space more easily. So that stencil says la 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 love, which is a cute little sentiment. Here I go with the smaller palette knife. I'm just using the hearts this time. And you could use it as a whole thing, but I like that you could just use the hearts too because hearts are something that I use a lot of as a motif. Um, hearts and stars are really easy to add to any layout. So I'm just making sure to clean all of the stuff that I used off so that the modeling paste doesn't harden. It's really hard to clean off after it hardens. I'm just using a baby wipe for that. And then I'll get that put away. And then I'm going to... It dries pretty fast, so I'm not too worried about getting right to work. Just trimming off the little edges of my photo. I printed it with my Canon Selfie, which I love. And now I'm going to go ahead and add foam squares to the back of this. And I kind of go a little bit overboard, but I really want it to stand up nicely. And since I got these foam squares for such an awesome deal at the American Crafts Warehouse sale, I don't have a problem using a bunch of them at a time. So I'm just cutting them. Okay, one thing I would recommend to, to you if you don't have it, if you if you use um, either score tape or if you cut your foam tabs ever or whatever. I love my Teflon coated scissors. I have some by close to my heart. I also have an older pair that's not sharp anymore that's made by Fiskars. I know there are several companies out there who make them, Tim Holtz. Um, I really recommend getting a pair of Teflon coated scissors because nothing gets, like they don't get all gunked up and sticky. So I really love that. So now I'm just trying to figure up figure out where my photo needs to pop up so that it stays as tall as the heart and these foam tabs that I use are really thin and they don't give a ton of dimension just a little bit so what I'm doing now is I kind of when I cut out and traced and cut out those little pieces to back my heart um, it left me with some weird kind of strips that I would normally trim and throw away because I like to have my scraps be all squared off. Um, but this time instead of throwing them away, I trimmed off the the, uh, the strips and I just kind of layered them together to make a border across the top. I'll often just take a 12 by 12 piece of paper and cut a strip off that is the entire length of the 12 inches and place it at the top or bottom of the layout because I just really like the way that that border kind of frames the layout but this time I used the combination of the two and one's black and white and one's cream and white and that's not bothering me I don't mind it I've got a lot of cream going on um, anyway and so and white so it just kind of balances that to me so now I'm trying to decide how I want to do my title, and I know I want to bring in the red for the title. I love these foam thickers, um, and the the title that I've chosen is Love Ya Sugar, and it's just kind of play on words because we got the sugar cookies, and it's Valentine's Day. So I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm placing my title on some wax paper so that I can move it around to see exactly where I want it. And in a second here... Oh, I'm pulling out the Simple Story stickers that we got in the kit to see if any of those will work. And I just kind of find, with all the geometrics going on, these the stickers on that Simple Story sticker sheet are a little bit more, I wouldn't say distressed, but kind of. They aren't quite as crisp and clean as the others, and so I end up not using them. I did pull out these um, word sticker strips from Authentique that are really cute and I'm going to use the one that says let's see forever and ever you will have my heart I pull out a few and I'm just trying to look <laughs> right now I'm scanning through to see if any of them say cookies but they don't <laughs> so I'm just gonna choose 
the one, and I think I'm going to use, or I, I thought I was going to use one that said XOXO, but I'll change my mind here later. I'm just trying to make sure, why I keep bringing that circle I love you sticker back is because I want to make sure that I get that red on the layout in a few different spots, not just the title. So I'm just trying to play with it to see what I can do to make it work. So I've layered up some tags that we got from, I think we just got a like a sampling of them and I'm pretty sure that they are either from, I, I think they're from the Kiss Kiss crepe paper line as well. We didn't get a whole package, we just got like six or something like that, maybe half a package of those and that's what that XOXO tag is as well as the little Happy Valentine's Day banner and the Sweetheart banner that I'll end up using as well. So here I'm just pulling off all of those little little backings on my foam tape square or my foam squares and then I'm going to adhere that to the layout. Reaches a point where you can't keep fiddling around with it, you just got to commit, so that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay down my photo. I thought I might end up layering some papers behind my photo, but I thought that would be too busy and I just want more of a clean look, so I decide not to do that. And I'm just going to add a few more foam tabs where the photo needs to be held up a little bit more. And that XOXO tag is really super cute. It's kind of really thick. The glitter paper that's adhered to the back of it behind behind the letters is pretty thick so it stands up pretty tall so I couldn't decide if I was going to lay it over the photo or under but I just decide to go under and then I'm going to go ahead and put my title down so I created a problem for myself with my title because I left some of those triangles open my title like that R right there is just kind of hanging in the middle because everything else is popped up so that R isn't isn't quite where it needs to be it's it's just hanging out <laughs> and so and same with the comma and you probably just saw me cut a tiny little piece of a foam square to put behind the comma and I'll end up cutting a, a little piece to put behind the R and the A in sugar too just so that they stand up and I could have backed that with some paper and it would have been easier but I like the way it turned out so now I'm just committing to that Happy Valentine's Day banner at the bottom. And this flare that came in the Scraptastic kit is so perfect because it's just a little um, heart, but it's got it's swirled and it looks a lot like the cookies that we decorated. And so it, I thought I for sure had to use it on this layout. So I'm just going to put it to the right of that Sweetheart banner. And I love those banners because they have stitching and vellum on them already. They're just kind of like a little pre-designed layered banner and then they're really cute. So now I'm still trying to decide how I can bring in more red to the layout because the Love You Sugar isn't enough and I thought maybe I needed more black but I decided I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going back to those phrase stickers from Authentique and that's just not going to give me what I need and I don't like that there's words next to words um, down in the bottom and so what I'll end up doing is uh, I'm going to well, I'm going to play around with these circles and it just it wasn't working for me. I they're cute and they maybe would have worked if I would have figured out where I wanted to put them, but I just never could figure it out. So, I decided to pull out some really super thin washi tape that I have from little B um and that's B just the letter little B and it's super, super skinny. I bought this to go um, when I was creating a Disney album, and it works perfectly for that little extra touch. My video cut out at the very end, but all I did was go ahead and add my journaling and some gold paint splatters from uh, its Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine, and that completed the layout. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you'll join me again soon. I've got some exciting and fun things coming up on my YouTube channel, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.